Cardinal de Bonald founded the parish of the Bon Pasteur in 1855. A priest named Callot opened a small sanctuary within Lyon's first arrondissement following his blessing on March 16, 1856. Napoleon III, amongst one of the numerous grandiose public gestures, announced that he and his wife would adopt all children as godparents born on that same March 16. Callot penned a letter to Napoleon III requesting that the couple also adopt his church. Thirteen days following his original decree, Napoleon III legally recognized the parish of the Bon Pasteur. Napoleon III delayed reaching out to his adopted godchild. He waited thirteen years before visiting Lyon to dedicate a new sanctuary construction. The church would be designed by Lyon architect Claire Tissur. Construction commenced on August 25, 1869. One year later, Napoleon III would be deposed upon his capture by Prussian military forces at the beginning of the Franco-Prussian War. Continuance of the church building would be stalled. Absent of an influential protector or benefactor, the construction would not resume until 1875, requiring eight years before completion. Architect Tissur oversaw the resumption and ultimate completion. The Lyon City Council allocated the necessary funding. During construction, workers made an odd discovery. Roman tiles were laid flat over a pile of animal bones. Tissur encountered unforeseen complications throughout. He was obliged to modify and compromise his design when the priest wanted a higher tower. The biggest problem became that military barracks were positioned directly across the street from the facade church entrance. The Third Republic government officials had no incentive to destroy the barracks to accommodate a project blessed by Napoleon III. They simply refused to accommodate. Tissur decided to use an alternative side entrance. The facade facing entry door was left without a stairwell or entrance access, elevated over 10 feet above ground. The church continued sustained Catholic worship services until 1984 when the structure was no longer assigned to the church body. No public explanation was offered. The interior was transformed into an exhibition showroom for the Lyon École Nationale des Beaux-Arts. In 2008, the school and students vacated, abandoning the building into flagrant disrepair and periodic habitation by squatters. Over the ensuing years, the exterior has become increasingly tagged by graffiti and vandalized, ultimately making the lack of a front entry access the least of the building's problems.